speed bunny boat. Like the bird on the wing. And here we are on Sky. The sun's out. It's dead flat calm. Tango's got a huge smile on his face, but he's actually going to get going, isn't he? I am indeed. Let's go. This is the old goal. That's Walk Skavik. It's a cool and house. That's where we're going. A couple of days. That ahead is the Black Cool and House. The best hills in the British Isles by a country mile. Dead ahead is Skurner Street. This is only quite a small hill, it's about, I think it's about 500 metres or something, 1,700 feet, somewhere like that. But it's possibly the best view in Scotland. It's an absolutely stunning view for that. You can see right around one side you've got the cooling. It's over just to the left of it. You see the cooling house. You can see Gars in there. The Doos, Skur Doomer, Skur Do Big. Skur And on the right side, to the far right, you've got Blavin. And you can see Marsco and Glamig there. Absolutely stunning. You can see the whole lot from the top of Skurnish Tree. When you look at the sea behind us, and you've got the wee isles. Rum cooling. The egg. Absolutely stunning views. Right ahead of us now is the island of Soy. Be on the right, Kamasunari. You can just see the white building on the left. It used to be the, the body, the old body. And to the left, well, that's where Loch Karuska is, in the heart of the Kulin. Black Kulin. And that's where we're heading. I decided to go over and have a wee look at Soy first. Island of Soy because we're steaming along here in the flood tide and we're right on springs today. It's absolutely beautiful, dead flat camp. And there's Tango Man with the cooling as a backdrop. Cooling Ridge, black cooling. Scuravari up there, Scur Dumar. Garvin, beautiful. That big ridge going up. It's Drumnara, right at the top of it, it's beaching Drumnara. This is one of the, I found one of the trickiest bits of the ridge. Absolutely glorious setting. And we couldn't get better weather for it. Oh, I see them. We were heading for Soy, but we have just spotted a pod of dolphins. They're not going to be showing up on the GoPro yet because we're a good distance away. They're dead ahead, right close to the land. And we saw them breaching the water. And now we can see them just in the distance. Definitely a pod of dolphins. The thing is, can we get there and time to get some decent footage of them? We're getting closer. We've changed direction, we're heading. Right over towards the island of Soy. There's what? 20, 30 of them that we can see. I don't know if the GoPro will be picking them up yet. There we go. And today, for the dolphins to the front. Gannett's diving into the water to the left. And I see 130 Hercules aircraft flying overhead. Oof. <laughs> They're heading straight towards me here. Thank you. 
This is just fabulous. One of the world's best views. And dolphins all around. And out both sides of me, behind me, in front of me. I just don't know I'm getting it wrong and not getting straight into the organ. Absolutely beautiful. Oof. That one was about three yards for the bot. We've got to go there. How about that for a view? Pod of dolphins and the Black Coolin Mountains behind them. Just fabulous. And a beautiful day. Surrounded by dolphins, this is fabulous. One right next to the boat here. Absolutely beautiful. Off. It's left about three or four feet in there. That alone has made the trip, the long drive up here, worth it. It seems another couple of Boats, the tourist boat there, I think it's the, the Bella Jane, or the Misty Isle, one of the two, and another boat has spotted the dolphins. So they're in for a look. <laughs> Meanwhile, the dolphins seem to be coming back, they're over there. I think they were just over visiting the tour boat. Colin, yeah. how good was that? Oh, it's got it I heard there's Gar's one. Just a fabulous view of the cooling. We're heading down the, I think the sound is so here, but it looks like a nice beach over there. And there's something on the beach, we're moving around. I'm not entirely sure what it is yet, but I think it might be deer. Colin's just turning because there are literally thousands of jellyfish crammed packed together in a great big mound. I never saw what they were, the moon jellyfish.
jellyfish. We've seen them for two, three hundred metres and they're still going. They're absolutely tightly packed. It's a massive line of them right across. We've seen enough of them and we're going to keep following them. I don't know how far that goes. Never seen anything like that. And uh, come down soy sound. The swells picked up noticeably in the wind, the waves. I've got a cup of coffee here, something to eat, and then head round. Think they're cooling. We're actually at the bottom of Garvin now, which is where traditionally you start the you're doing the traverse of the pool and all the 11 Munros. For 10 one was as now one was demoted. Just going in with a surf here. Keeps going right in, mate. Fuck, this is going right in. You see the end there? The walls are covered in barnacles. It's not going to be very good for the, the boats. That cave kind of use. That one goes in a bit, but it's, I mean, it's really an area, it's going to be scraping along in barnacles. You see the end here? That's a big surge here. That's about a metre and a half surge. Nah. Need deeper water getting to that one. Look how clear the water is. This is coming up to the end of the back up the soy sound. A little headland over here. Just from that Kamasunari Bay. There's Blaven coming into view. Well, we've had the sun all day and it was forecast to be overcast all day. So, the result there, I'm just looking up on the cooling ridge to the left, it's the clag starting to form. Yacht coming out, and there's a seal there ahead in the water. And a bunch of them on the shore and just to the left. We're heading back up the beach.
it'd be difficult to, to understand the scale of this place when the GoPro. This is huge here. These hills are going at the sea level straight up to over 3,000 feet. A few yachts in here. Just up there, to the left, that's Square Dumar. The Doo Ridge, fabulous scramble. Hello. Hey, bud, you all right? It's a river, river Scavig, I think. It's coming down for Loch Karusk. The heart of the coolant. And the hut up on the left is uh, Karusk Memorial Hut, which I think is still run by GMCS uh, Glasgow, I think. If I remember right. Now, where are we going to pitch our tents? And there is home for a duration. It's just approaching dusk. And we're in the cooling. I'm just in for walk at risk. That's a small. I need to do is there. Uh, do reds. Still do more. The slabs. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. I don't think I'd rather be anywhere else in the world than right here, right now. The weather's fantastic. The midges are not too bad. That's good on the street at the side, by the way. And the kayaks. What a day. Well, the sun has just come up over Skewer on the street there. And it's another cracker. Not a bad spot. A bit of breakfast. Still a few yachts in there. The dudes are still there. It's absolutely stunning this morning. And what a place for breakfast, Colin. How good is this for breakfast? Be cup of tea. It is just breathtaking the views here. It's unbelievable. Drying all this stuff out. The tent. Because we're in them again tonight, so we're using this opportunity.
absolutely gorgeous, huh? Fantastic. That boat is heading over there, I think that's the dolphins again, right in the distance. We're going to need to go somewhere to catch them. <laughs> I'm just trying to run for a final look at the kill hunt. You just don't want to take your eyes away from it. It's just absolutely stunning scenery. Beautiful. There's a lot of giants about. Yeah, the building on the left, that's the old Kamasunari Bothy. Where I've stayed before, it was a cracking Bothy. The landowner took it back. But he did build another Bothy. It's, I think it's now a, probably a holiday let or something. But over on the far right, you can hardly see it. But the other Bothy, the one in the middle, that's always been there. That's a, a farm or something, I think. A lodge. And hope the right's blue, man. And they're scaring the street. Okay, Lynn. They're coming right round. There's the island of Soy, or over here yesterday. Soy Sound. And there's Rum. Rum Keelan. Here's the egg. That's the Elgol ahead. So we're going to go past there and have a look at our, some caves. See there's some caves. In. One of them's on the map. It's marked as, marked as the Prince Charlie's, Prince Charles's cave or something. It is dead flat. Calm. A couple of shags there. That's a wee swim. Just coming around the headland. What can you see here? That's the egg over to the right. In the distance, up there, probably are the mock in. He's coming round to Harris Head. That's what we hear I think this is Prince Charles's cave. Is that? There's a whole bunch of caves and some big ones back there. But it doesn't look like. We can get any of any, it's real low water at the moment. We are speaking to one of the, the crew, the, the Bella Jane, the tourist ship, tourist boat. He might be in the skipper, I don't know. But he was saying it's a really weird tide today, it's really, really low. So that might be one of the reasons we can't find this, can't get into this cave. He was showing us on the beach, he says we're normal low tide on our spring. It's about 10 metres difference, it's about 10 metres lower today than he's seen it before. It's probably a bad time to look for these caves. There's a whole load of caves over here. I think we're past Prince Charles's cave. We're not going to get into any of these, not this state of the tide. This head. Marvellous sea cliffs, so. Hey, there you are. Jonathan Seagull. 
Jonathan Livingston Seagull. I read a book about you. Yeah. These cliffs are really spectacular. Quite a number of caves in them. But there's no access from the sea at the moment. It's got the whole shooting match this area. It's got the, play, the caves, the cliffs, the wildlife, the mountains. I'm thinking if that tide's went out much further than normal, it could be coming in much faster than normal. And we're already buying on a spring. Yeah, I think that's Prince Charles's cave there. Where all these shags are hanging around. You see another or two up with the tide. And another another or two. And that'll be accessible by boat. But not at the moment. And there we are. But this is in the cooling. A view I could never tire of. So it's back just about the old goal. It's just time to just sit and take in the view. The water is crystal clear. You can see the fishes dodging about and loads of jellyfish, starfish, and all the rest of it. It's dead flat calm and it sounds it. Been it for two days solid. And now it goes back to Elgo.